five. It was my dad actually who uh, got me into the game. I remember watching him teach my brother how to play. So it wasn't even his intention that I learned the game. So coming from India, being a girl, it was um, also there was no chess culture in my city. I, I'm from Delhi. I needed someone to come with me at all times, and it was my mom. So she had to, in many ways, sacrifice and give up her career, her life, her time with other with her other two children uh, to be with me. And I think that was a bit of a struggle because um, I was too young to understand these things. That my parents had to make take that call whether they wanted to invest all that time and energy emotionally and um, uh, she used to come with me everywhere till I was 19 and then she thought I was old enough to handle life. I started young and in many ways I don't think I ever really got a choice to think about or choose my career. I think in many ways it just happened to me and it was something I was I loved doing and I was enjoying and it never I never had the option to think about other stuff. Okay, so the five words that, uh, that describe me would be um, fun, smart, cute, lazy, and annoying. <laughs> I, I love Gibraltar. I've been coming here since, since I was really little. And I, um, I started my association with this festival as a player. I've played here several times. I've played here five years. I got into commentary and uh, I started working in Gibraltar as, as a reporter, as an on-site reporter. It's been a very interesting journey for me, being in Gibraltar as a player and what I saw and what I experienced then and then doing it as someone who is uh, uh, trying to bring, bring things out of the chess players who are playing here as a commentator. So the first year that I started working here as a presenter, uh, it was uh, it was this show that we were doing, it was called The Day's Play. And the whole idea and the concept was to show Gibraltar to people this, this amazing small place with a big heart, uh, with all these beautiful spots that are there that people across the world are always amazed to see that how are there so many uh, fascinating spots here. And to bring that to the world and integrate that with the chess festival which is such a, such a big part of the Gibraltar calendar. And then that transformed into uh, doing a lot of interviews with our top players because every year Gibraltar gets these world-class players and uh, absolute elite from the world, they play in this open tournament. So we started doing these long interviews with them and that was, that was really a very interesting experience for me because I know all of them but you know you don't really know them. And then, and then I had the opportunity to have this conversation with them and try and understand their lives better and I, and I love people, I love talking to them, I love, um, I really enjoy the process of getting to know someone. So that was happening through these interviews. We were having these brilliant conversations which, um, which we then put out to, to other people. I think, I think one of the best that I remember is the one that I did with Boris last year. Um, that was amazing, the one with Hikaru and, and all these things, so getting to know and then we did the post game interviews. So that was the quick, you know, what happened in the game, what were you feeling, how do you feel right now, what went wrong, so a little more peppy stuff and that was really exciting as well. So we're constantly evolving and I love that. I love the fact that every year we are trying to do something new here and we're trying to, and it's challenging for me as well. I really want to become a grandmaster. Uh, there are very few women players in the world who have the full grandmaster title and I think for for every girl who takes up chess, you know, to some extent, that is, that is a bit of a name. And that's been mine as well since I was little. I think I'm more of the in the moment, one day from now kind of a person. But I hope I'll be a happy person with lots of dogs around me, because I love dogs. <laughs> Everyone should play a little bit of chess in their lives. The, the main reason for that is that the skills you pick up with this game are going to translate into everything you do in life. You know, at a young age, if you're into sports, if you're playing chess, I think one of the biggest lessons that it teaches you is dealing with adversity. It's something that life is going to teach you any which way. You know, you're going you're gonna to make mistakes, you're, gonna, you're going to mess up and you'll have to stand back. I remember my trainer recently saying that there's nothing that you can do in life. You know, you, you can't do anything in life better if you're hard on yourself, you'll always do it better if you're nice to yourself and if you're good to yourself and if you're in a good mood. So thinking that your game the next day will go well just because you're beating yourself over what happened is not going to help. Try and understand where you went wrong. It's, it's going to hurt. 
but don't don't be too hard on yourself